This is a short video about making a plug sound with RetroLock 2, you hear it in the background, and to explain some simple technologies, how you can modulate the sound and make it more lively. So listen closely and I uh, hope you have fun with it. Let's get started. I'm starting in Cubase with a MIDI track. It's an instrument track with a MIDI file on it and I have my RetroLock in Init RetroLock 2. This is the initial setting with nothing uh, very special, only one oscillator. It sounds like this. It's a sawtooth, you can see here on the first oscillator. And the next step what I'm gonna do is um, to adjust the oscillator, the filter and the amplifier envelope. For the oscillator I'm using the multi-oscillator so that I have the whole thing a little bit wider. Let me just play this. So I'm adjusting this to taste and the next step is the filter. The filter I have here on a low pass filter with 24 dB per octave and with a cut off I can make the sound a little bit darker. So let's go this. Now what is the idea of a plug sound? A plug sound is a percussive sound that you can use for a melody, that you can use for chords or for a percussive element in your music. And the important thing to do this is to use the filter and the amplifier envelope. The envelope you see here can control the volume with the amplifier envelope or the filter. So what does envelope mean? You see this curve here and it's a standard ADSR envelope. Um, a, D and R are times, S is a level. So A stands for attack, it's the attack time. This is the time from when you press the note until the envelope is going up to the fullest. It's a time. So the fullest uh, level up here is always the same. The D stands for decay time. This is the time after it reached the uh, full level that it goes down to the sustain. The sustain level is the level uh, on which the note is holding when you press the button or when you press the key a long time. And the release time is the time after you release the key on your keyboard, after the MIDI note ended, until um, everything is at zero again. So if I use this here, this envelope, and adjust it, it can modulate the cutoff frequency, like what I can do also with uh, the with a mouse here, but I can do this very fast and whenever I press a key and the MIDI note is playing. To control the um, filter cutoff with the envelope I can use two functions here. We have an envelope control uh, so I can adjust the amount of uh, envelope I want to control and uh, you can also here use the matrix for the modulation matrix and this is what I'm going to use. I'm using as the source the filter envelope and as destination I'm using the cutoff. Um, the advantage of this is that we have a modifier and we have an offset so we can shift the whole envelope a little bit. I can do that when I use the envelope control here. So let's check this out. Let's control the ADSR uh, with a cutoff. So I have to turn it up here, the depth. As you can hear, I have a very short curve here. That means I have a short attack, I have a short decay time and then I'm going back to zero here on the sustain level. That is zero. If I turn the sustain level up, um, I will have the filter a little bit open whenever I hold the key. Uh, and with this parameter here, the depth, I can control how much of the cutoff is controlled by the filter envelope. Another thing we can do here is also use the amplifier envelope to change the overall sound, the length of the notes. So let's try this.
Okay, so this is our basic sound we are using for the plug sound. To make the sound a little bit more interesting, I'm using the effects now. I'm using an echo. Um, let's turn the echo on, the delay here. This is here. And it's on fourth, one fourth note, a quarter note. And it's synced to the beats per minute. It's 130 beats per minute. And I have here some feedback. Let's listen to this. Let's adjust this to taste. With the mix control you can adjust how loud the delay is uh, compared to original sound. So let's turn it off completely. And I'm using the ping pong delay to make the delay going left, right, left, right to make it more interesting and the whole sound wider. So to fatten up the sound a little bit, I'm going back to the oscillator section and I'm using the second oscillator and the sub oscillator and maybe some noise to make the sound a little bit more interesting. So I'm using here the second on tilt oscillator and I put it in, um, uh, in sync. So it's synced to the original oscillator up here and let's go, let's just listen if we stay with with the sawtooth or with the square wave. Uh, what you heard right now is only the oscillator 2 because I turned on oscillator 1 here in the mixer and with the shape parameter I can adjust the waveform so that it sounds a little bit more hollow, a little bit more brighter or a little bit more dull. And I can also use here some modulation on the modulation section to change this. So let's do this. Let me take the filter envelope again and adjust the shape of oscillator 2. So later two, the shape. Hunt. If you work here in the modulation matrix, do not forget to turn up the depth because if you forgot to turn up the depth, you won't hear the effect of the modulation. So let's bring in some of the sub oscillator here and mix it then here in the mixer. Let's turn down the effect a little bit. Okay, I think the modulation of the shape of the oscillator 2 or the sound of the oscillator 2 is a little bit too far off, a little bit too wide and so I adjust this. Let's listen. Okay, like this it sounds good. And what else we can do is we can also modulate with the matrix here um, the filter envelope and shift it a bit higher or lower. Um, let me explain how we do that. Uh, we take the LFO1 and uh, envelope and um, modulate the decay phase. It's like let me try that manual so you hear the difference. So this can make the whole sound shorter or longer by opening the filter more or less. Let's try that with the LFO here. Let's go first to the LFO1 here and sync it, sync mode, to the tempo and make it very slow. 
32 quarter notes, this is 8 bars. And let's listen to this. So you can hear how the filter is opening very slow, a little bit more during the whole bar. So that's it, a basic uh, plug sound for all your needs for melodies, chords or percussive elements in your music. The idea of the video was to show you some basic techniques you can use in Retrolog, like using the envelopes to modulate the amplifier and the filter and also use the modulation matrix to modulate all of the other modulators like the envelopes and to change the sound and make it more lively, more interesting. I hope you liked the video. Please share, like and subscribe. Leave a comment. This has been Harold from Hidden Room Studio. See you next time.